Microsoft provides fully functional evaluation versions of their Windows products, including Windows Server, some of which can be rearmed several times in 180 day increments. But did you know you can convert a running, working evaluation edition of Windows Server to a retail volume or OEM license edition? Well, Microsoft provides a supported, documented path forward to do just that. Head to the Microsoft Evaluation Center website to obtain evaluation installation files. Under the Windows Server heading, you will find entries for Windows Server 2025, 2022, 2019, and 2016. Once you have the installation ISO files, you can install them on any supported physical platform or virtualization environment. After installation and activation online, double check the evaluation edition. Open an administrative or elevated terminal, PowerShell session, or command prompt. Type either dism forward slash online forward slash get current edition or slmjr forward slash DLV. Ensure the output has the term server standard eval or server data center eval. You can also type WinVer where it will indicate the evaluation edition. Now we need to see which editions we can convert to. Type dism forward slash online forward slash get dash target editions to get valid target editions. There are some limitations, however. For example, you can convert server standard evaluation to retail standard or data center, but you can only convert data center evaluation to retail data center. Ensure you have valid retail, volume license, or OEM product keys. For volume license, you can use either multiple activation or generic volume license keys for Windows Server 2025, 2022, 2019, and 2016, which you can obtain here. To convert from Windows Server Standard Evaluation to Retail Server Standard, to convert from Windows Server Standard or Data Center Evaluation to Retail Server Data Center. Restart the computer when prompted by hitting Y. After restarting the system, open a terminal, PowerShell session, or command prompt to verify. The output should read either Server Standard or Server Data Center. Additionally, you can use slmjr forward slash DLV or WinVer to verify. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it useful. If you have any feedback, corrections, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and pass it on to others. And I thank you for watching.